You're talking to me. She's talking to me. I'm talking to everyone out there who has elf mania and quite possibly an elf on the shelf as we speak. I have one. We have one. His name is Peppermint Spike Chrysanthemum. I just call him Spike. I call him Chris. I call him Peppermint. He's probably confused. Now, in the weeks before Christmas, Santa's elves get sent out in houses all over the place. They're there to watch every move you make, every breath you take. You're making it weird. They're simply there to confirm which list the kids should be on. Naughty, nice. So let's just put on our best behavior as we read Elf on the Shelf, Night Before Christmas. I'm gonna be perfect, I'm gonna be perfect. We are going to be perfect. And get ready because this book has extra stuff inside. Oh, and here's the extra stuff already. Do you see this? Do you see that this is Wrapping paper. Look, look how, how high it goes. It probably can go all the way up to the moon. Look how high and how pretty it's got elves on it. And oh, there's something more. I see a little spot here where we can say that this book belongs to you and me and the Kitty Time family. And oh, look at what it is. It's perforated right here so you can tear it out. And you can write your dear Santa letter right here. I want it! No, I want it! He knows when you are arguing. We're not done here. Yeah, we're not done. Everyone, peaceful thoughts. Peaceful thoughts. And here's the famous elf on the shelf swinging in, of course, on a candy cane vine. What else? Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, a few creatures stirred, but not one was a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in the hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds with elf pets that cuddled near each of their heads. And in my red suit, complete with my cap, I waited up late, never taking a nap. Now it looks like our elf has concocted a message in giant gumdrops. Let's see what it is. See you next year. Oh, that's right, because the elf on the shelf leaves on Christmas Eve. Remember, you saw nothing. Yeah, it was all merry and bright. You two are super sus. What? Ah, cool, ah, cool. The elf saw what he saw. Flip. Then, out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter. I sprang from my shelf to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash and hoped it was Santa arriving at last. But, uh-oh, see that right there? There's a kid. Kid's not supposed to be awake. And oh, look at the, that form. Oh, impressive. The moon glimmered brightly on freshly made snow. The fox cubs were ready for Santa to show. Then what to my wondering eyes did appear but a red and gold sleigh with a host of reindeer. <laughs> the lively old driver, so nimble and quick, could be no one other than dear old Saint Nick. Okay, so there is good news. The good news is that the kid clearly did not see the elf who had jumped off the shelf because that's a big no-no because the cat is blocking the view. More good news? Santa! But now for the bad news. Meow. This is a poorly timed showdown of cat versus elf and the fate of this entire Christmas tree might be at stake. Let's see what happens on the next page. My house was in mayhem, but what could I do? The sleigh had a ride with St. Nicholas, too. And phew, the tree still standing. But the cat is now picking a fight <coughs> with the dog. Oh, the cat. Hello, my fellow naughty lister. Meanwhile, Elfie here is trying to unravel. 
The northern lights danced in the cold winter sky as spirit swirled round, helping reindeer fly high. But unfortunately, now the dog is chasing the cat and the gingerbread house just toppled over. <gasps> oh, 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 do not worry. This is not an accidental blank page. This is one of those extras that I had mentioned to you. We have stickers, we have stickers, we have stickers, and candy cane, and wreaths, and snowmen, and elves, 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 elves. This one's on a donut. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. I dashed past the stockings, and as I turned round, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. Oh, 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 o
get the stickers, Green Bear gets the card to write to Santa, and then Pink Bear can have the wrapping paper. Wrapping paper? You're just leaving him the wrapping paper? I told you she wouldn't go for it. Okay, you drive a hard bargain. Pink Bear can have the wrapping paper and this book. Yeah. But the book is mine. But Storyteller, you said it was the season of giving. Yeah, that's a good one. I see what's happening here. Okay, fine. I'm going to let Pink Bear have the wrapping paper. Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and give him the Elf on the Shelf book of 200 stickers that I also got. What? Oh, and I'll also let him have the extra book that I got about the Scout Elves. Oh, man. After all, it is the season <laughs> of giving, my little elves. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas!